Greetings, friends. I'm Alec, and I'm Judge. Welcome back to the Windmill Four Horses. The subhuman self is to be loved. I don't know what the subhuman self is, but when everyone tells me, love yourself, I rather feel like, oh, I'd rather love the subhuman self. That's why we're at the windmill full of corpses instead of the windmill full of humans. So you assume that corpses are subhuman? I mean, they are subhuman in a sense because you're left with skeletons which are underneath the rest of the human. Yeah, the only other alternative for a subhuman is the uh, subway sandwich human complex. Am I supposed to know what that is? You don't know what a complex is? A complex is a merging of two things. Oh, one of them is a human and the other one is a subway sandwich. That's a subhuman. So this is Milia theme from Guilty Gear Strive OST. She looks like a nurse. She looks like a nurse to you? She looks like a freaking Soviet officer to me. Soviet nurse. Soviet nurse it is. <laughs> We go? Are you ready? No!
I am so for that. I like Milia. I think Milia is my favorite character so far. You do? Yes. She has a very different theme from the rest of the characters. This is the first one we've had with female vocals, right? Didn't Giovanna have some level of female vocals? I don't remember. I think she did. I think they actually put female vocals for the female characters. I mean, understandable. How does she not trip on that hair? <laughs> it's too big! It's a fucking curtain! I mean, I only got this and I'm catching it in my zipper all the time. Yeah, that's just because you don't know to tie it back. No, I do. I'm just too lazy to do so, so... The song. Yes, uh, it had so many elements to it. So you have like this electronic swirly theme. Yes, and that was... I. That was, I think, keyboard. It was very accentuated. I don't think we've heard a lot of keyboard in previous songs. No, but it sounds... Here's what's so cool about it. It sounds like the sort of electronic element that you can very well integrate into power metal. So the song does that, but then it doesn't really go power metal. It, mm -hmm. it keeps going with some groovy stuff. It only becomes power metal in the chorus. So you have these sort of very symbiotic power metal elements, but they're distanced from each other in a sense. So they almost feel like a throwback to each other. Okay, I relate to the power metal in the chorus. For me, the um, the keyboard theme got me thinking more towards electronic metalcore effects. Okay. Because it was paired with this cutting effect in the yeah. in the sound. That kind of gets me thinking about metalcore. You know they do that before breakdowns. Yes. But I get your point. And it definitely gets that aesthetic across with the textures that they have on the keyboards. Yes. I also think there was a fair degree of electronic beats yeah. going on, but kind of on the background, like they weren't in your face. You still heard the rock drumming going for most of the time. Yeah, so it breaks a bit the pattern of raw rock energy that we've seen from uh, Guilty Gear with those elements. Yes. Um, I also like that they have kind of like pre-chorus and chorus, and they're connected by a very short swirly piano thing. Yeah. And the pre-chorus is this like where she says love the subhuman self, this sort of yeah. soothing atmospheric thing. So that that's a really cool sort of breather before swaying, segueing, segueing, it's a, it's a word, into the high energy of the chorus. Yeah, solo. Solo. Um, it shredded a lot. It shredded a lot. But it also had like mm -hmm. these really accentuated bends, I think almost with a wah pedal. I didn't catch wah pedals. I don't know if for sure it was a wah, but it, they were some really squeaky bends. But I like that it had almost a sort of muted shred effect that's really, really cool. And it had that thing that it just catches energy, mm -hmm. and then it kind of stops abruptly, and nothing changes with the rest. So you get this cool stripped down effect when the solo just ends and you're left with that groove. Yeah, and it's like, sniff. Yes. And then the sniff cuts and you get Disney. Yes. It's like, this sniff me, this, uh, I was going to say something. It was like, I don't know what you were going to say, but you said this sniff. This sniff. And that, that's like, that was Disney sniff. I was gonna say it's sniff Disney shred. Sniff Disney shred. Yes. Sniff Disney shred. Disney shred. Same, same old. Right. Milia deserves more respect than we've given her, so we're gonna go. I'm very happy with this one. Yes. yes. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We bell. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Of course, yeah.